Whoever you're dealing with at this moment in time, you suspected them of having a third party and they are married. This is what they're hiding from you. This came out in the pre-shuffle and time for a change. You're being urged now to make the necessary changes towards your own happiness. Who or what is currently leaving you feeling drained? So this person's taking a lot more than they're giving and you've been wondering why that they're so in and out of the connection. It's like you could hear from them a lot one week or a couple days and then they kind of just go ghost or MIA. This is because they're married to someone else. This could have been a secret marriage. This could have been a marriage for finances. Definitely, whoever they married planned to take from them in the past, planned to stop them from receiving blessings. This person was a gold digger. They just wanted their money. Could have been an air sign, could have been an Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. So triple Aquarius energy here with all air energy on the board. This person saw them as a financial opportunity. Wow, all air energy on the board, you guys. Look at that. So it's kind of like the jokes on them. Whoever this feminine is that committed to this air sign could have also been an air sign. And they realized that this person wasn't just going to give up the finances for them. Could have made them sign a prenup. Could have did something that indicated that this person wasn't just going to be able to have a free handout from them. Whoever you're dealing with, they are solid. They are emotionally stable. They're just not emotionally available because they're giving to two connections. So this person could play a lot of games in a sense where they leave you feeling second guessing yourself. Like, was it something you said or did? But this person does see you as someone they want a future with because they know that you're not after an opportunity from them financially. It's just like they're stuck. So for some of you guys, they could be debating going through a divorce or an ending. And for others of you, if they have told you about this marriage, some, some of them may be just saying that they're going to end the marriage, but not actually walking away. Whoever you're dealing with has a lot of finance or a lot of abundance in their life. And it seems to be like that's their main focus is holding on to their abundance. This person could take a lot of big opportunities when it comes to different partnerships. I'm hearing like investments. This could be someone who invests in the stock market, Bitcoin different things like this they're constantly trying to find new ways to double and triple their earnings definitely seems like a masculine energy here whoever they're dealing with is younger than them this person could have a child with them as well this could be something you don't know gambler so the person you're dealing with could definitely be a gambler someone who's willing to follow their intuition right they have a lot of businesses or business opportunities now gossip just came out in reverse so it's like this isn't being talked about you're not aware of everything that they're holding back from you or hiding from you thrives on the power of passing on private or secret information betraying confidences so whoever they're dealing with could have threatened to basically leak information about them or information about their financial plans or gains and for others of you this person just constantly threatens their personal life so this is why they've stayed with this person we've got voyeurism falsifying information so that's it whoever they're dealing with has made some sort of threats to prevent them from moving on and being happy and so they could even make up stuff about them to damage their career or the way that others see them this person, the karmic as well, whoever they're married to, could be doing this about you if they're aware of you as the third party. So artist, um, you or this person could be an artist. You could be some sort of creative type, either an actor, actress, an actual artist, photographer, musician. But this person almost has them like blackmailed in a sense that if they move on, they're going to release some sort of personal information about them and possibly even about you and them trying to like falsify that you two have been doing this behind their back. And it's like, if they're going through some sort of separation or divorce, this person's trying to maintain their distance from you so it doesn't damage things. So we've got shadow attribute in a reverse, trading ethical principles for victory at any cost, indifference to the suffering inflicted onto others. So whoever this is that's kind of threatening to release this information about them isn't really caring about the future of their person that they've been dealing with. 
even though they may have been in a stable relationship at some point now they're trying to really prevent them from being happy definitely looks like you could be dealing with an air sign or they could both be air signs but whoever this is is someone who loves to take chances in life they're all about gaining new perspectives and new ways to build a legacy for their family for their future and i feel like if they have a child with this person the karmic could be threatening to take away rights of this child or their ability to be able to see the child if they end this marriage so your person could feel really stuck right now kind of caught in between and these are all things that they're not sharing with you they could be experiencing some sort of loss when it comes to opportunities as well in the background with this person just kind of going off about their business and for some of you it's like it's it's incorrect information so this person really feels like their life is at a standstill. Now, you guys are being asked to focus on yourselves at this time. It's time for a change. If you know that the situation isn't ending and you feel like you're constantly being drained of your emotions, feeling like one minute they're giving to your connection, there's hope, and then the next minute you feel like they're just staying in this marriage and you feel completely left out of anything going on. Spirit's saying just to walk away, to really take the focus back on you and to realize that this is all happening for a reason. Some of you guys could be really focused on your career as well. Maybe this person had offered you a career opportunity in the past, but you could be coming to realize that it doesn't seem like there's any ships coming in for that career opportunity. This is just because they don't wanna have any more loss. They're all about gain. So whether that's just financially or just abundance all around, it's like they want to maintain a good image as well. They don't want to end one connection and jump right into another. So I think that's why Spirit's telling you time for a change because you're almost holding on to someone who is really not going to be able just to commit to you right away. If this person does end a marriage, they're going to need to take the time to heal and fully come to terms with themselves and rediscover themselves in a sense, have that little bit of freedom before they jump into a new connection. So this person could be very reputably known, could be a business owner, a businessman, or like I said, I see something with stocks here. So they could be someone really known, like worldwide. And uh, it just seems like what spirit wants you to do is to also just take a chance on yourself, maybe focus on new opportunities for yourself to grow and possibly just consider going out and dating other options that aren't emotionally tied up because this person may be withholding all this information from you in order to keep a hold on you but at the same sense it looks like they're not letting go of this person that they're dealing with as well so we're gonna get one love message here to see if there's anything this person would say to you that they haven't been saying please stop ignoring me i'm blocking you so some of you may figure it out that this person was in a connection with someone else you may have blocked them or cut off regular communication this person does want to open up and possibly tell you the truth about what's going on but they could feel stuck or blocked in some way it says do you think about me ever anymore so maybe in the past wow look at that one maybe in the past you guys were a lot more like fluid and open with your conversations and now things could be at a halt it says i'm finally ready to commit so this person could be wanting a commitment from you even though they feel like they, they need to take the time to heal, they don't want to lose you in the same sense in this situation. And it says, forget talking about the past. I'd rather just kiss and make up. We've got one more here. Oh, two more. I still love them. See, there you go. This is why they're not walking away because they do still love this other person that they're committed to. And please wait for me. I'm still healing and learning. So Spirit's saying, you know, with the Wheel of Fortune in reverse, it's kind of just like this situation's going nowhere for anyone because this person is still in love with whoever they're married to, but they could have feelings for you at the same time, but it looks like they really got to work out their own issues before they can come forward and offer this commitment to you. 